Thank you very much for joining us. Definitely not the result you are looking for. Please give us your impressions of what happened in the 90 minutes plus extra minutes. Yeah, firstly, uh, good evening, guys. And uh, so well done to Sundowns. I think they win the league tonight. So, yes, well done to them. But in saying that, uh, I thought the red card also spoiled my game in one moment. I don't know if it was a red card. I still have to look at that. But, uh, yeah, we held them like we should have held them in the first half. Uh, I think it was 0-0 in the first half for 10 men. And we, we had a good structure, good moments in the game as well, even though they had majority of the ball. But uh, we, we came out and we thought, you know what, if we carry on in this vein, we, we could actually break them down and, and, and maybe get a goal. Yes, we get one penalty, which is not normal. But uh, in saying that, uh, their first goal is actually a, a foul for us. If you look at it, there's there's a foul on the on the right hand side exactly by me, and the referee points the other way. There's an out ball for me, and from that moment, they go to the other side and they score a goal. So that really breaks your players as well in in in, in sometimes because that is like the Achilles heel that it takes out of us because we are ten men down and the actual foul is actually belongs to Kaiser Chiefs, and after that it's just snowball effect. But in saying that. Uh, we got a, I thought we had, we had to defend better in the second half, late in the second half, which we didn't do. But uh, my main bone of contention is that the first goal they score against us is, is not necessarily uh, what I expect to get. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to complain about all those things. Uh, they win the game, we lose the game. We have to go back to the drawing board and there's four games left, I think. And we have to really pull up our socks because the Chiefs that you saw in the last 15 minutes is not the Chiefs that I know. So we we disappointed, but we got to go back and we got to fix it up, and we got to come out, and uh, we have to be available, and we have to end up in the top eight because that's what we have to chase for now. So the Chiefs that in the last 15 minutes is not the ones that I that I coach. So we have to make sure that we we all, not only the players, but all of us regroup and make sure that we be positive and uh, the next game get the best results we can. Thank you, Coach. Members of the media, it's your turn now. Let's get the mic and moving straight to your name, name of your media house and the question. Um, coach, when, when Kevin gets a red card, um, you, you didn't make any change. Were you, what made you comfortable with, with the way the team was uh, minus one center back? Yeah, well, we did, uh, it was not a matter about bringing in another center back. We had Zita playing right back, which he can also play as a center back. And we put Zita at center back and we put Matt to the right back and we had Castillo and we had uh, Siteba in the middle. So we were we were more than happy with that. And as you can see, the whole first half we were we were more than comfortable. We were able to 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 stop them from playing and stop them from scoring. So uh, we were okay. I thought we held it very, very well. Go for it really. No, I don't think we were exposed, uh, Vela. I think the, the, the only thing was that when you look at it, and you look at the goals they scored. The first goal, like I said, is the Achilles heel that kills my players. 
because it's it's not a goal. It's an out ball for Kaiser Chiefs. And when we have that, we have momentum going forward. And our players are all up front. We have the momentum to go forward, but the out ball kills us. And uh, after that, yes, like I say, the third, the fourth and the fifth goal, my players back off, which is not normal for them to back off. And I thought they backed off at the wrong moment. Uh, and that gave Sundowns the opportunity to come at us. I don't think they, 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 out, they outfoxed me. It's just that we did the wrong thing on the pitch. Coach, uh, obviously, as you said, on seven consecutive title, um, a dominant force is that you for right now. And there's 29 points between Chiefs and Sundowns. Do you think it encompasses the gulf in quality of the two clubs right now, or is it just a bad season for Chiefs? I wouldn't be able to put my finger on that because I think uh, there's a building process in, in everything that you do. And uh, I've been at Chiefs now for, what, seven months? So if you're asking me to give you the history on things like that, then it's, it's very difficult to sort of put your finger on it. But I think we need to, as, 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 as Kaiser Chiefs and as all the other teams, we need to work a lot harder in order to overtake the beast that has just won the, the, the championship. But uh, in saying that, you also have to be humble and con congratulate them for the work that they do. The up and down. It's been it's been difficult, and uh, it's been nice as well. It's been it's been it's been a learning curve, and uh, we learn from these uh, mistakes, and you learn from the from the win from the wins as well. That there's certain things that. When you do it, you, go, you have to remember. And there's certain things when you do it that uh, you have to forget as a coach. But uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you got to learn. We learn every day. And I hope I am one of those human beings that is able to learn every day of my life. And uh, when you receive the scoreline that you receive tonight, then you probably learn the most. And uh, if you're humble enough, Say, guys, I was beaten today, then uh, so be it. But uh, you got to come back stronger. Coach, with what you've seen and experienced in, in this time uh, managing Chiefs, what, what is it that gives you faith that things can turn around and the team can be competitive next season? I think it's the, the most important thing that I think is is there for, 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 for Chiefs is the Chiefs brand and the people that work for the institution. I think there's a lot of good that has been done behind the scenes. I think there's a lot of good uh, for the people that work for them. Uh, so there will be, and I know there's going to be, there will be something that is improved and makes this brand better than it was before. Uh, Coach Mustafa Parma, <coughs> with the, I mean, we just talked about wanting to talk in one game with the remaining games. Is is there thinking also on maybe starting to to build for the next season to see where the changes might be? what kind of differences you might want to, to bring 
Yeah. Look, it's it's always a catch-22 situation you're in now. We need to win those games, and uh, you also need to build in order to show what we can have or what we can't have. But I think under 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 my watch so far, most of the players have played. There's not there's not many players that haven't played for 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 any amount of minutes, whether it's five minutes, whether it's four minutes, whether it's half a game, whether it's a whole game. So uh, I think uh, the building is is there, we can see it. It's it's about putting them together again and making sure that whoever we put together on that particular day goes out and gets the gets the three points in order for us to be where we want to be at the end of the season. Last one, Tim. Close, thank you. Um, hello, I'm the result coach. Um, I just, I'm just looking at uh, the squad, uh, if I may use the term very pound for pound, Kaiser Chiefs comes third to Orlando Pirates and Sundowns uh, when it comes to material. Would you say that came down to the uh, type of players that you had today that you had to lose in this fashion um, with such a big margin? How much of that had to do with the personnel that you have in your squad, pound for pound, matching with other two teams that you're competing with? Um, you know, I'm trying to understand the question. <laughs> the question pound is, for pound, I've only been here for six months, so it's pound for pound, it's ticky for ticky then. <laughs> no, I understand. I'm trying to, I'm trying to put the words in my mouth, so that uh, you don't manipulate what I say. I think pound for pound, we all bleed blood, and all 49 players red inside so I think they all have the same value ex except that some some teams value them more than than we value them so it's I think whoever um, however many players Sundowns have how any ma many players Pirates have how many many players super have, I mean because the Chiefs have they're all the same value they all have the same blood it's just that humans have put back a price on them, and pound for pound doesn't work for me. Coach, but on, on, on a serious note, Coach. No, I'm serious. I'm, I'm looking at the squat value that Pirates has. Right now, unequivocally so, still in Bosch, yes, they're doing things the way they should, but pound for pound, when I use this term again, when you compare them, Orlando Pirates, Sundowns, Kaiser Chiefs, those are the three traditional teams that we know they are big teams in South Africa. What I'm asking, Coach, is that would you say that the, the result today, the outcome, actually exposes you that you don't match your counterparts, which are Kaiser, the Orlando Pirates, and Sundowns, material-wise? Material-wise, I think we match them, like you can see. Yes, every team in the world gets a hiding sometimes. They just bring, it just happens that today is the reality that we get beaten 5-1. And every team, like I say, reality-wise, it will happen to you. Uh, when it happens to another coach, I also feel sorry for him when he sits here in the same chair I'm sitting. But pound for pound, we all think our players are capable of matching another player, especially at this level of professional football, especially at a club like Kaiser Chiefs. Pound for pound, we should match uh, Orlando Pirates, pound for pound, we should match uh, Mamlodi Sundowns, but we did not today, and uh, yeah, we have to accept that and move on.